What is going on guys, Austin Richo here, back with another My Morphin Collection episode. This time we have the brand new Power Ranger Funko Pops with the new line that they did. And I have pretty much all of them. There is some missing stuff just because they're not released yet. But let's go ahead and just take a quick little run through. Then of course we'll take them all out of the box look at them individually. So first up here, we have the Tommy and Jason. So these are all the unmasked Power Ranger Pops. And so as, as I said, we'll look at them close. You can see them out of the box in the detail and stuff. But we've got the Tommy and Jason. Then we have Kimberly and Trini. It's hard to... Oh, there's, this camera just doesn't have a big enough lens, so I have to squeeze everything. And then we have Kimberly and Trini there. Then we've got Zach and Billy. So those two there. So that is all of the actual Rangers. Then we've got some villains going on here. So we have Red... Or sorry, Zed and Rita. Kind of mix them together. It's like their couple name. Um, Zed and Rita there. And then we've got Goldar which is of course another one of the main villains and then we've got the exclusive pudgy pig the hot topic exclusive figure there which i also have the pumpkin wrapper um ordered but um he's not come in yet because i don't think it's supposed to be until later in this month or in october something like that for halloween and stuff but we got those two and then the last figure that we have for this set is the tiger zord hot topic exclusive six inch figure here um, which is really cool and excited and happy that i was able to get that but let's go ahead and look at each one out of the box so we can see more details and everything that they put into it so let's open them Okay, so we're starting off here with Tommy, so I'm going to be doing these, at least I'll start with the Rangers first and then move to the villains, but I'm going to start with the order that they're numbered in, so I'm not going to do it any particular order, you know, like my favorites or anything, just the order that they are numbered as and stuff. So we're starting off with the first one here as Tommy. So here's, of course, the new uh, head of him without his, you know, helmet on and stuff, which I like the ones with the helmets more, I just like them overall in general, but I think it's cool that they made him without the helmet helmets as well because you get to see more of the, like each of the individual characters and everything that go along with it so here is the tommy head so again they're just plain pop head so nothing special going on they just have the black eyes no mouth or smile or anything um but he's got the hair here so of course he's got the this is um kind of like a later version of the tommy so he's got the shaved hair on the side and then the longer hair on the top here that comes back into the ponytail so they added that on the on there and then over on his left side here he does does have the gold earring there so he's got that thrown in there and then he's got his of course green ranger costume here so he's got the chest plate here um this one does not look too bad so as i was opening these i you know gotta really look at them and inspect them and stuff and the paint job on these are absolutely like horrible this one does not look too bad like it's not perfect as you can see it's got like white going down underneath where it shouldn't be and um some of the stuff it's got like some black parts on the boots and everything um, but it's this one's not too bad compared to some of the others like you know the triangles aren't painted that very good uh, But we'll see some of the bad paint jobs coming up in a second But I like this obviously he's got the green ranger outfit on underneath there Then the ch gold chest plate as I mentioned the gold bands of armor there on his arms Of course that give him more power apparently and you have like protection him Especially when he like lends it to Jason stuff and it helps him you know be able to take hits and stuff And it's kind of just fun and how that works and everything but there he also has his morphron and the dragon dagger there on his belt in the sheath or holster whatever you want to call it and everything else is just like the normal power rangers so nothing special obviously these don't move or anything so we don't have any have to worry about any articulation it's not a bobble head or anything as well its head should be able to move but it's kind of stiff and stuck there but there is the tommy figure and next up here is jason so this one um looks i like the look of his face stuff does these characters um like the tommy look pretty decent you know compared to uh jason dave frank and stuff but to me like this doesn't look anything like austin st john but they're not really going to they're just like the generic power ranger characters stuff but this one is uh, an example of a bad paint job so we're looking at a teddy here so it's got all black hair so it looks like elvis to me like the look the way the hair just is designed and everything but he's got the all black hair you know being like all brushed back or whatever and stuff and then he's got the black eyes and black eyebrows there then we've got the red ranger suit of course the power coin which is very hard to see in the light but it's got the t-rex on it there and so there's an example of the bad paint job it's got this like scrape going down through it as you can see like on the chest there we've got some white on the sides there um some messed up white on the gloves 
there. Then, like, the thing I especially noticed was on the boots, you can see, so they all ha usually have, like, a black line painted around the bottom of the boot. This one, you know, has been, like, missed down, and then in the back it's come up. So, they just completely, like, messed up painting this one. Um, there, you can see the bell, it's kind of messed up, it's got a scratch in it, it's got a white spot there. Um, so, like, after looking at all these, I feel like I just need to, like, try and find better painted ones and get them and, you know, just rebuy them all. But, of course, that's going to be more money and then waste of, of these pops and stuff. So, I probably won't. I'll just deal with it. But this really is disappointing, especially as Funko's into, you know, so many years now that they've been doing this. And they're pro producing paint jobs like this. It's very disappointing that they're doing that and it makes me, you know, very upset and that I've wasted like money on these horrible looking things. But then over here on the side we do have the um, Blade Blaster, I think is, they're called, I always get the name wrong on these, but they're in the holster as well. And so that's going to be it for Jason. And next up here is Kimberly. So this time we have our first girl out of the set. And so here's a look at her face. So as you can see, she's got the, of course, normal pop eyes. But then she has the eyelashes coming off because, you know, that's how they have to signify that it's a girl. It's got eyelashes there. And then brown eyebrows. And then the brown, long brown hair that, of course, is all being, like, swept back together. And then has the pink headband to, you know, help hold it and stuff again. Um, Kimberly, like in the show, hardly ever wore the headband. But in all, like, the, like, uh, cartoon-type drawings or whatever and stuff, they always give her the pink headband it's always kind of funny so it's funny again doesn't look anything like the actress amy joe johnson but you know it's just pop then we've got the pink ranger outfit here and as you can see it's got the pteranodon power or coin i guess which again is not really supposed to even be on their chest at all because they never actually had them there but they just do that because it gives it more character and stuff and i like this look a lot uh, but there we've got the pink ranger outfit she's got the morphron and then of course it's the pink ranger costume so it has the skirt going on because this was for sure a girl where the yellow ranger was not an act uh, wasn't a female in the uh, Japanese version so it didn't have the skirt on then we've got more paint jobs going on so there you can see the arm which is just absolutely horrible paint looks like it's like flaking off or something in there and it just does not look good um, then we've got down here on the boot she's got a black line coming up so it looks like she's got like you know the ninja shoes that are, have the split toe off and everything uh, it just looks funny um, some belt issues it looks like she's got the blade blaster and the holster there um, the back side doesn't look too bad, just, you know, not best paint jobs, but it's not horrible. Again, this gl uh, glove looks absolutely horrible. And it's, again, another unfortunate thing. But that's going to be it for Kimberly. Then next up here, we've got Zack. And so here we've got Zack. So he's got his dark skin, of course, because it was a black character. So they did give him the dark skin and stuff. So I do like that they did that. Because I think when they made, I forget, it was the... Um, I forget what they're called now, the like loyal subjects. I don't think they made him that, which was disappointing, and I don't know why. But here we've got Zach. So they did like it, this is like a hairstyle I've never seen before, but you can definitely tell like how they've molded inside. So as the pop head, then they've attached this piece of hair um, on top here to kind of give him his hair design that he had. Um, at some point, he didn't have this hairstyle for very long, but he had this, and you can see the like design and detail going in to make it look like you know it's like curly hair type design and stuff. Kind of be like a you know a shaved afro. I don't know what the hair style is called or anything, but there you can see his face. And then going down into these costume here, you can definitely see the mastodon there in the uh, coin. It looks it's really prominent now. You don't have to hold it in certain light or anything. The morpher, and then we've got of course. Let's look at the paint jobs. This one actually is probably the best looking one. It does have an issue here. It's got this line in like just a paint uh, paint blob just sitting there on the white where it's not supposed to be but overall this one is probably the best looking one it's got a little bit of black there but yeah other than that it looks pretty decent like you know obviously it's still not the best paint job ever especially like when they do the fading of the lines and stuff but overall this is the best looking one out of all of them so this one is definitely a keeper like it's got that mark but you know because of the head and stuff it pretty much hides it and you don't hardly ever see the back of it and stuff but this is yeah definitely the best one out of the set so far but that's gonna be it for zach then next up here we've got billy so let's take a look at him so i like first off that they gave him the glasses i like these pop glasses you know that's just the normal funko face and then they attach these you know glasses onto the face so they can move and you could you know if you 
broke them all loose or whatever could take them off and stuff but he's got his glasses on no eyebrows or anything though because of that so it's just you know the eyes and the nose on this one for the face then we've got his hair so it's a blonde hair and so they did it you know with it's got a part down the side here and then sweeping uh sweeping back hair and you can see like on the sides like combed over and stuff so that's you know new details and design they did then he, we've got the blue ranger costume so we have the uh, triceratops coin there and his morpher of course and then some more paint issues as you can see the white paint is like really weird coming up onto the boots there and um it's got a little bit of blue coming down on there. a little bit of paint looks like it's flaking off or something on that side and then uh, not too much like these hands are like always the worst parts like it seems there's always some issue going on with that but then he's got his blade blaster there in the holster and everything and it just like I said this one isn't the worst but it's still not that good um, especially not as good as the Zack was and everything but it still looks pretty decent and I really like the look of the glasses and stuff they threw on there so that's gonna be it for Billy and our last Power Ranger from the set is Trini here the Yellow Ranger so here we've got look again she's got the um, eyes with the eyelashes coming off to signify that it's girl the eyebrows and everything then she's got the black hair so it's got like you know the bangs cut out in the front here and then it's longer in the back as you can see there and it's, it's like completely flat on top which is kind of funny she can stand on her head um, so um, I like the hairstyle that they made for training stuff because that is you know similar to what training had in the show and everything so that looks good then we've got the yellow ranger costume so we've got the saber tooth again this one's hard to see it's like they did the really dark gold uh, paint um, you can see it pretty easily you know like off camera but when it's on camera it looks very hard to see probably just because lighting but she's got the morpher there and then let's look at some issues which I see some already of this yellow ranger costume so first she's got some yellow painted onto her belt there as you can see she's got some issues it looks like paint flake off or some misprints of the diamonds along the boots there misprint of diamonds on the glove up there um, yeah, this one does too. This one just like, the overall paint job isn't the worst, you know, it's just got some paint issue there, but it's like the applications they put on, you know, like the diamond prints or whatever, just is like completely messed up and, uh, not working on like the gloves and stuff. Um, on the back doesn't look too bad, it looks pretty decent paint wise, you know, obviously still not the best, but yeah, like right there, it just looks like a gold color almost instead. It's just not that good. I Like I said, this has just become so disappointing after opening these. You know, I was so excited to get this set, and now that I have them, I'm just so disappointed and feel I wasted money to get these horrible looking characters. But overall, I like the way they look in general. It's just the paint job on the costumes is just horrible. But that's going to be it for Trini. And now we are moving on to the villains. Now these look a lot better. They definitely did a much better job on the villains than they did any of the others. And I'm sorry for complaining so much about it. But like I said, it's, you know, with all these years that Funko's been doing this and they're pr still producing horrible looking stuff like they are, it's just very disappointing, you know, like, it, it makes me feel like I've wasted money and it, you know, just discouraging me from wanting to buy more pops and stuff. But here we have Zed, and again, Zed's always been one of my favorite villains from the show, and so this is really cool to finally have him in a pop. So we'll start at the top here, so he's got his Z there up on this, like, long prong or antenna type thing off of his helmet here. It's, you know, just sticking up in there. It's got a Z for Zed, of course. Then go down, we've got his brain, so you can see the brain. And I like the design, you know, it looks very brainish with the, which, of course, I took anatomy and knew what this stuff was called. I want to say, like, Ruge or something, but I have no clue if that's what it's called or not. That could be something else. But all the like um like wrinkled design and stuff going in there it looks really cool then we've got his helmet which of course his helmet i'm pretty sure is what helps keep him alive because obviously he just got like no outer skin and like you can see his brain and everything um and no skeleton so that's why he has all the metal and stuff keeping him alive but he's got his mask to help keep him alive so he's got his visor here his dark red visor which i always liked the dark red visor there then the all silver um helmet design here which you know parts here to help holding his brain then like part of his spine and stuff going on there then i like this mouth grill design that they did there then go now we got his actual like you know body and stuff so again he's just like all muscle and everything and then we have all the metal here that's supposed to be like his bones and holding them together then we have these tubes are i assume are supposed to be like veins and help move blood and stuff um, again, I don't know if that's for sure. I haven't, like, you know, read stuff up on Zed to see if that's true, but that's just always what I've imagined since I was a kid. That's what all this stuff is. 
But as you can see, he's all red because, you know, it's supposed to be like the muscle tissue and everything. And uh, then it's, like I said, got the silver that I assume is supposed to be like his bone or, you know, like a, um, I forget what they call it, but it's just like a, just the thing to help hold his body together. Um, then we've got his hands where on his hands he's got his claws on, which again, how he's liked when he would like do his claws, especially on his staff here. We'd like do this on him and stuff. Um, then we do have his staff here, which again is just a staff with a Z on top of it. Of course, he would like we shoot powers and stuff or things out of the Z and make stuff of appear and everything. And so this looks really cool. And again, the paint job on this is pretty good. Like I can hardly find anything that's wrong. Like up here, there looks to be some like silver stuff that got onto the brain, but not too much. And overall, it just looks really good. Even on this body, I figured it would be, you know, hard to do for detail and everything. Looks really good. So this is definitely a much better job. And they did really good on this one. So that's going to be it for Zed. Then next up here, we have Rita. And so this one is another good-looking villain character that they did a pretty good job on overall. And I was kind of worried that because she doesn't come with a stand none of the figures do which kind of made me worry for some of them that they wouldn't stand but she actually stands pretty good and you know you can still do it and she won't fall over um so they did that even though she like i said because she got this small body but then this giant head i assume she would just fall over so that is really good that they did that so let's take a look starting top so she has her hair that of course is pulled in wrapped around into these horns there is some paint issues going on there with some black and stuff like marks or uh, scuffs or something going on there so she's got the two horns again wrapped with the leather to do that which is then wrapped around her head then she's got her headdress on that i assume is supposed to be like her crown or something but i always like this design it looks like you know like a rocky material so it's like rock and i always picture you know like lava so it's like you know the um i forget what they call it, but you know like the the cooling parts on top with the still liquid lava underneath but it's gold instead then it's got the red jewel there in the center of and everything then we've got her face and again it's the girl so she has to have the eyelashes coming off the eye and then we have the part coming down off it's like a tin strap almost the gold one coming down off of her uh like crown here um and again i always like that but it's always weird because it was loose off of her face and so it just be weird in the show then going down, we do have her, it's kind of like a, um, for the, like a color on her dress and stuff, but this time it's pretty flat down, and you, you know, kind of sticks up usually. Going on there, and then we've got her pointed breasts, which she has these weird, like, Madonna things going on, on her breast there with the big giant points that look like, you know, snow cones or something like that there. Then it's her all brown dress, and I did like that they had the gold on. Um, I just assume it'd be all brown, but they did add the gold for some more design and stuff going on there. Then on the back, she does have this. I don't know what's supposed to be. It looks like um, hair or feathers or something that's hanging off down here. It always kind of reminded me of like broke of like wings and stuff. Like she's supposed to have wings, but they're just you know like died, and so they're just hanging back there. Um, that's just always again what I thought when I was a kid and stuff. But it looks like hair and stuff here. And then going out, she's got her staff, of course, that is famous because she'd always throw it, hit it in the ground, and make monsters grow, you know, make my monsters grow and stuff. But there's the staff, so it's all the all gold staff. It's got that red jewel or whatever ball there in the middle. Then the blue one's coming off of it and stuff, and then the rest is just an all gold design. And again, this looks really good besides the marks there on the head and everything. Again, the paint job looks really, really good on this, and I like it a lot. So that's going to be it for Rita. Then next up, we have the Hinchman Goldar. So this is Rita's kind of like second hand man especially in the first season until zed came along and stuff and so here we've got goldar i think this looks super cool so goldar obviously comes with the name of goldar so gold so he's got a lot of gold going on here i don't know what kind of creature he's supposed to be but he is obviously some sort of creature because as you can see he's got this weird blue face and then he's got wings and it like a monkey tail going on back there so i assume it reminds me of like the flying monkeys from wizard of oz but with like gold armor on and stuff but let's take a look at so there is his armor so he's got this giant like fan part coming on his head which they made really big and again i was worried about him standing because of his how big his head is that it was going to like weigh him down he's going to fall and stuff but they did a really good job in the way the sword is designed and stuff it helps him uh, keep him standing and everything but we'll look at his face which i really like so here's his face again it's supposed to, he's some sort of creature so he has you know like a creature face again looks like a monkey to me and so we've got his blue face there with the red eyes again i really like the way that looks in his mouth here so he's got some teeth and his nose and everything and then he's got this little piece of gold that's supposed to be you know kind of like a um goatee type thing or something there on his chin but of course it matches with the rest of him so i really like again the head design and sculpt they did for that there's a look at the 
back of it with all the points and horns coming off of it and everything. Then we go down into his armor. Oh, this was another piece. So we used to have these. Um, I it's always assumed they'd be like hanging down from his head or they'd be like or be like hair or something, but they're just like black, like dingly things, and they have like teeth or points on them at the end. And I had no clue again what they were when I was a kid, so I was just figured it was like his hair with points on them or something. But then we've got his all gold costume here, which again they put a lot of detail in the design in here, getting all the little details into it. Um, but it's just all gold. It's got these blue little jewels going on there, and I don't know if that's supposed to be like skin or if that's just a red design underneath like his different parts. Um, I don't remember much from the show of that, but um, I think it looks cool and it adds more detail into it and looks awesome. Then we'll look around the back here. So there's his back. So he's got wings. By this, it looks like their wings are just attached to the costume, which they could be. Because, um, you know, it's got the gold coming off of it there. And it's, like, attached to this part. And then it's got the wings. But I just, as I mentioned, always just thought of it as a flying monkey. So it would be, like, actually attached to him. And that's coming through his outfit and stuff. Then he does have his tail, which is curled around up in there. So, you know, it's usually... To keep it out of the way and stuff, it is all curled around in there, but he does have it. And then you can see some of him, like, through his armor under there, the black and stuff. Probably some of his skin, or it could just be, like, pants or something. Then we'll come up here to his sword. So we've got Goldar's sword here held in his hand. So as you can see, it's, um, I don't know any, like, much about the sword and stuff. If it has any special powers or anything, but it's, you know, every time you see Goldar, he has the sword and he fights with it and stuff. And so there you can see some of the gold design carried on that's got the red dot and stuff. Then it's an actual blade. So I like how it's got like the serrated part here and then it just goes into an actual sword blade. I always thought that was really cool about his sword and everything. And again, as I mentioned, it helps keep him standing up, especially because as you can see, his foot is, you know, kind of designed where it's going to be like on like, I think like the ball of your feet. So his heel is up in the air. And so I feel it would help, you know, cause him to help. Uh, fall forward but because of the sword it helps you know, adds a brace doing stuff so it keeps them standing so that's going to be it for goldar then next up we've got the gamestop exclusive pudgy pig pop which i really enjoy this and i'll tell you like a special thing about it um so this was from an early episode uh, i'm pretty sure the episode was called food fight i just remember it so much because we had the vhs tape of it and so it was always one of my favorite things to watch and i watched it so much it was my favorite one out of all our pat ranger videos we had besides the movie of course um and so i remember this one a lot in the pudgy pig and so he just go around eating stuff all over the angel grove and then the rangers defeated him by throwing him um like sandwiches and stuff with hot food in it and it caused him to have indigestion and he spit out stuff because he had swallowed their weapons and everything and so it, it allowed him to or allowed them to get their weapons back to be able to defeat the pudgy pig but as you can see he's a pig character and so he's got like a spartan helmet on here so it's you know a helmet with the spartan like a uh, hair fan there then he's got these ears that just hang down all weird off to the side which is kind of funny looking but he's got that then he's got his pig face so he's got the eyes and then the pig nose and the mouth and stuff and then it's weird that he's got arms coming out of his mouth which again is really weird comes out of his mouth and it's got the hooves on it and stuff like the pig feet and then he has utensil stuff, which I'm pretty sure he never had these in the show. I never remember him ever having utensils, but it fits, you know, with a pig and wanting to eat. And everything that he would have them, you know, to eat stuff with. And then he's got his two feet down here with, again, with the hooves on it. Of course, this is all designed because there's a person inside of this. This was just a costume. So it's got, you know, the person's feet and then their hands to control this and stuff to fight with and everything. He could have had these utensils. I just don't remember it that clearly. I could have just be forgetting, but I think this looks awesome again. Again, there's no paint job issues or anything at least major going on with this it's just all pretty much design is what this is going on here and i think it looks really cool and i like that they made this an exclusive character because it's like out of any of the like you know off one-off villains pudgy pig was one that you know definitely made had an impression on me because of the movie and stuff and one i definitely remembered so i'm glad they released that and again we've got the pumpkin wrapper which is also gamestop exclusive coming um, just whenever it's finally released and stuff. Um, and so if more Power Rangers stuff comes out, I'll have it in a video then. But um, just so you know, that is coming out as well. And so that's going to be it for the Pudgy Pig. And the last pop out of this set is the White Tiger Zord. So this is the Hot Topic exclusive that recently came out. And which was the whole reason I was waiting on this to come out. Because I knew it was going to be out soon. To um, do this video for all the Rangers stuff that they've released so far. And of course there is more coming out. 
um, which I'll mention here in a little bit, but let's take a look at this. So this is him in the, I forget what's called, even called, I want to say like battle mode or something, but it's where it's turned into, you know, the robot version where it can actually, you know, fight and stuff instead of the actual white tiger, just, you know, as the Zord itself, which I thought would be really cool to have that, um, as the form, but they may do like a, you know, another version sometime. Um, and of course it'd have to be more like this way in the form. It'd be like laying down where this one is standing up. Again, I can't remember what this mode is called, but it's, you know, not like it really matters and stuff. But let's take a look. So here we've got its giant head. So of course this head is, you know, usually, um, just they throw in a head, you know, to make it look like, you know, a giant robot head. Um, just so, you know, it looks, you know, like a person or something almost. Because obviously, again, this is a person in the show in a costume. And so they give it a head and everything to look out of. And so there we've got, it, there's nothing real special about it. It just looks like, you know, it's got like a helmet on here with the gold and white. Because, of course, this is the White Ranger version. So it's got gold and white. It's like its main colors and stuff. Then we've got the face here. So, again, it's just a robotic face. It's got red eyes and everything there, which looks cool. Then going down, we get into the actual Tiger's or looking part of it. So there's the face of the tiger so that you can see there usually it's got a red ball in its mouth here in most forms um which it doesn't on this which is fine for me and stuff but um they usually do then it's the head which i'm pretty sure is what tommy sits in is in the head of the tiger so when he's fighting in this that's what he sits in you can see the eyes of the tiger then part of the head going around there then just the actual uh you know tiger zord here so there's like the shoulder parts um, again with like these red balls which are usually um, there's quite a bit on the actual tiger's horn stuff then it's got its arms down so these are the actual feet of the tiger's horn and it's got the tiger's horn coin there on them and of course they just fold in and then these become the actual feet for the tiger sword then we've got the sword here that is the tail of the tiger so usually it just sticks in back here for its tail and stuff but this form it's a sword which it's cool because it's got like the I don't know what you call it, but it's like an Arabian sword you know where it's the gets fatter and stuff then it's the blade on one side that comes to this point and sweeps back and stuff and I like that whole design there then going down into the feet there which have um, usually these you know like would fold out or something and these are the actual feet of the tiger zord as well so you can kind of see it would be you know a little like this head would be gone this tiger head would fold up into this spot and then the feet would be down the feet would be down and the uh, arms would be down and it'd be like a tiger sword so they could um, Hopefully they will eventually make one in the Tiger Zord mode. I don't know if they will since they've made this one. But I think it looks really cool. And I'm glad that they did do more Zords. Because I love these Zord pops so much. And so that's going to be it for the White Tiger Zord. That's going to be it for this video on the new Mighty Morphin Power Ranger Funko Pops that they've released. Of course with the Unmasked Rangers over here. The villains. The GameStop exclusive Pudgy Pig and the Hot Topic exclusive Tiger Zord. So again, there are more. We've got the Pumpkin Wrapper still coming out, as I mentioned. And then there is the Ultra Zord, which I'm super excited about, which has Titanus, the Mega Zord, and the Dragon Zord all put together into the Ultra Zord. But it's a Target exclusive 10-inch, and I'll probably never, ever find that because it's Target. So I'm hoping I can finally... Uh, find it online or something or it'll come up on Target's website and I'll be able to get it because I really want that so bad but I hope you enjoyed this video again I didn't mean to complain so much about the Ranger paint designs but again it's just very disappointing and I feel like I wasted money on them but I'm super happy with all of the villains and the Tiger Zord they did a really good job on those though so I'm happy with that but I hope you enjoyed this video if you did let me know in the comments down below don't forget to leave a comment or let me know what your favorite Ranger or any of these pops are what you think has the best design and detail going into it well just let me know anything you have in the comments down below and don't forget to subscribe to see more videos especially Power Ranger I keep trying to get out more Power Ranger videos because I have so much stuff like backed up and behind but it's just you know trying to get the videos done and have time to do them and everything but I thank you for watching and we'll see you next time